What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and today I would like to make a tip guide for Red Dead Online. I've had a lot of comments from people asking should they get into Red Dead Online? They've only ever played the story mode. I've also had a lot of comments from uh, people and different players that have not played in a while kind of asking should they get back into the game because of the new Naturalist Role edition and the new update. So this video is going to kind of be uh, helpful for returning players and new players alike. I'm going to go ahead and apologize uh, if you hear my PlayStation running in the background. I am recording this live, and this game and my PlayStation do not get along, even though my PlayStation has been uh, taken completely apart and cleaned. Something about this game and my PS4 just are not happy with each other. But anyway, uh, the first thing I think is the most important is defensive mode. And I know there's a lot of people that do not know how to get to defensive mode. If you are on console, left on the D-pad will bring up this option menu. If you're on PC, I do believe it is the L key on your keyboard. Then you will scroll down to the very bottom and you will see online options. You will go here, then you will go down even further down this list and go to the play style. So the playing style is where you can change from offensive and defensive modes. If you play in one of the other, you know, often, so if you play in defensive mode all the time, whenever you log out and log back in, the game's going to recognize that you play in defensive mode, so it will stay in defensive mode. If you're a person that goes out and you're very hostile, you kill a lot of other players, your hostility is high, you will not be able to go in defensive mode, so just keep that in mind. Also, there is a few times or a few instances where you will go do a mission in the online mode and it will change to offensive mode automatically. You have to play that mission in the offensive mode. You will have to manually go back in and do this again after that mission is complete. There's some other things you can do on this list or you know, kind of in this list of options right here that I think a lot of players may not know how to get to. Of course, this is where your emotes are. Of course, this is where your walking style is. But mainly, I think a lot of people want to know how to change appearance, and this is where you you're, you change your character's appearance. Now, it does cost 10 gold bars to change your character's appearance, so my advice to, would be to anyone that is new that is just starting out, you're making a character, make sure you make a character that you like the look of. Because 10 gold bars takes a while to get, and I'm, I'm assuming most of you do not want to spend gold bars all the time changing your character's appearance. You would rather uh, you know, use those gold bars for something in game that you could use. The next thing that um, I think is a, a, a good tip for newer players is play the events that pop up. You will see events pop up in your top left corner of your, of your game when you're just out roaming around in Red Dead Online. These events could be anything like fishing events, some of the new animal tagging events. There's a lot of events in game that are live events that pop up. Make sure you're doing those when you're first starting out because it does earn you some cash and some XP. And any cash and any XP is very good if you're just now starting to play because it takes a while to get cash. It takes a while to rank up. So just keep that in mind. If you see those events popping up, that is a good way to earn money in game. Um, one thing talking or kind of mentioning about, you know, I mentioned about gold. Uh, it's, it's a grind to make gold in game. It takes 100 gold nuggets to make one gold bar. Now, there are several different ways that you can kind of increase the rate that you make gold nuggets, and that is by doing daily challenges every day. That'll give you kind of an increase if you keep that daily streak up. But just keep in mind, it's not going to be easy to make a lot of gold bars. It's very hard to make gold bars. It's very grindy unless you're going to go out and purchase them with, with real world money. You kind of can see what I have on me right now. It's 45 gold bars. And of course, there's another currency in game, which is the cash. And that is, you know, I have 1,400. Uh, cash on me as well. So there's two different kind of currencies in game and sometimes some things will cost gold bars only. Sometimes you can spend gold bars or cash on those items. So just keep that in mind. Uh, well, another good thing to be aware of is you can change the size of your mini map. Um, if you hold the down button on your D-pad, you can see this uh, option comes up to turn your mini map into a compass, which looks like that, or to expand your mini map or to make your uh, mini map smaller. I play with my mini map expanded uh, in all modes. A lot of people just use this if they're playing like PvP modes against other players. But I think it's a very informative way to get more information of kind of what's going on around you if that map is expanded. You also can turn the radar completely off if you prefer. Um, you know, some people might like to do that. I'm not sure, but you know, I would I would really suggest you use the expanded option. It does help out with kind of what's going on around you. It, gets you, it makes you a little bit more aware. Uh, another quick tip for anyone that is new, if you want to know what rank you are, of course, you cannot see that here right when you hit down on the D-pad. If you just kind of select down on the D-pad, you can see your cash, you can see your gold, you can see where you're at, the time, and 
the temperature in game, which is kind of helpful. But if you're wanting to, or if you're wanting to know what your rank, of course, is in game, you will have to go here to the menu and hit progress. The progress option here will show you everything for your outlaw pass progress, your roll progress, your rank unlocks. This will show what rank you are in game. So we'll go here for me. And of course you can see every page where I have ranked up, you know, ranked up, ranked up all the way down to where I'm at now, which is level 92. And that goes all the way to level 100. So you can check your rank up for all different types of things. Like I said, your club rewards, your roles, and your rank unlocks in this one section. But like I said, kind of before I got to that point, if you just tap down on your D-pad, you can see your the time in game, you know, the temperature and your area, and of course what money you have on you. That's another bit of good information to know as well. Uh, one other thing that I know that's really important is crafting food in game. Uh, always craft food. Always have things available for when you're out fighting, no matter if you're playing PvP matches or if you're out just hunting. You're going to need food for you and your horse. Of course, your horse, you're going to have to purchase food uh, in game. You can purchase some gold food in game for the horse in the catalog, or you can travel to a stable and buy hay cubes, and that's what I do. Hay cubes are a lot uh, cheaper than some of the gold food that's available in the catalog. And of course, you can see a hay cube here. You just go over to your horse options, and you know you can see the different types of food that you have available to feed your horse. Some of them may be plants that you have picked. If you purchase these, uh, purchase these hay cubes, this will bring your horse's stats back up. And that is, like I said, a cheaper option if you want to, you know, have food consistently for your horse, which you do need because eventually, you know, it's just going to wear out and you're not going to be able to ride the horse and, and you need to keep it groomed and fed at all times. Uh, for your character, when it comes to food, you need to come to your camp and create food. As you can see, you can just sit here and craft uh, any type of food that you have. If you have been out hunting, the different types of meat, uh, you will have recipes for those different types of meat. If you see kind of all the options I have here when I come sit down at the campfire. I usually always use big game meat. I use a lot of the different recipes I have. If you just tap over on the D-pad, you can go through every recipe you have for that type of meat. I usually go with this one right here, the mint big game meat, because as you can see, the effects are fully restore all cores and yields a gold health core for a day. If you want something different like a gold health core for stamina or a gold health core for maybe uh, your dead eye, you can do that as well. Another way you can eat while you're at camp is a, a thing you'll have to purchase, of course, from Crips at the Outfitter. That is a stew pot. Uh, the stew pot, you can eat base quality stew, which you know all you have to do is hit square to eat that. Of course, then you'll just hit the button to finish eating it, which is just R1 here on console. I'm sure it's the right bumper on Xbox. You also can craft different types of stews here as well that will give you gold cores and things like that. You know, you can make a pork and apple stew, uh, you know, a superior, a superior quality stew, a high quality stew, a medium quality stew. Just, you know, you can check each of these by hitting the effects to see exactly what they do. Uh, and it will also tell you that the stew will be at your camp for so many days. You can come back so many in-game days and eat this stew if you need to refill your core if you're in an area where you're pretty close to your camp's location. Another quick tip for a lot of players is ability cards uh, and ranking those up. I think a lot of people get confused if you just hit the options button, you go down to abilities, you can see all the different ability cards that are available. Now there's ability cards in each section, so you have one for just your, you know, your first card, your first passive, your second passive, and your third passive. Once you unlock these, uh, you will need to then upgrade them. That's going to cost money, so you'll have to go to, let's find something here uh, that I haven't upgraded. It's so like any of these right here that say upgrade, XP required. You will have to apply this card, use this card while you're playing, you know, or running around with this card while you're gaining XP. You will gain XP towards the card as well. And then you can come into this section and hit square to upgrade it. And that will allow you to go to the next tier. There's three tiers in total, so you'll go one, two, and three on every individual card. So make sure you're ranking those cards up every time you have the chance and you have the cash to do so. It does help out with making those cards a little bit better along the way. And they're very handy if you like to play a lot of PvP against other players. Um, and last but not least, I think um, it, it's going to be kind of a, a, a quick comment on roles. I think a lot of players get into the game and want to try all the roles out. Roles do cost do cost gold bars, so be aware of that. Uh, like the new naturalist role, of course, is 25 gold bars. Sometimes they run deals in game, or if you have Twitch Prime where you can get some of these roles for free, so you'll just kind of have to keep your eyes and ears open for that, like maybe on Twitch Prime. You know, If you do have it, you can look through the uh, benefits section. Sometimes they will post it on their website. If they do... 
a lot, a lot of times if they do post it for their uh, week, weekly update on Tuesday, I will let you guys know in a video, of course. But if you can get them for free, definitely do that. If not, I would choose one roll and go with it until you get done with it. Because like I said, you're going to be spending gold bars on these. It's easier if you're newer to the game to learn one roll and then move on to the next once you get it to rank 20. But anyway, guys, I hope these tips kind of helped you out to kind of uh, ease some of the things that, that you may be doing in-game uh, along the way in Red Dead Online. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to go down in the description and check everything out down there. The community Discord is down there if you would like to join it. My Twitter is down there like if you would like to follow me on Twitter. And also, uh, GT Racing is linked down there. That is the affiliate here on the channel. And they sell all kinds of stuff from gaming chairs to office chairs to gaming desks. So be sure to give those guys a look. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.